Hey everyone! Today, I'm diving into the fascinating world of bonobos and their unique sexual behaviour. Yep, you heard that right. Bonobos use sex for almost everything. So, let's get right into it. First off, bonobos are very interesting when it comes to their social dynamics. Unlike many other species, bonobos use sexual activity not just for reproduction, but for a whole array of other reasons. They're basically the social butterflies of the animal kingdom. They use sex to form bonds, resolve conflicts, and even to alleviate tension. Imagine if humans could solve all their problems with a hug, except in the bonobo world it's way more intimate. What's even more fascinating is how inclusive their sexual behaviour is. Both males and females engage with multiple partners. We're talking about real polygenandry here, and they don't discriminate. Same-sex interactions are just as common. This level of diversity in sexual interactions is truly unique in the animal kingdom. And, uh, all right, let's talk about non-reproductive sex. In bonobos, sex isn't just about making babies, it's a social tool. This is quite unusual because in most animal species, sexual behaviour is predominantly for reproductive purposes. But bonobos have turned it into something much more versatile. They use it to strengthen social bonds and create alliances. So, in a way, sex for bonobos is more about social cohesion than anything else. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Female cooperation and male tolerance. In bonobo societies, females often stick together and cooperate to maintain social order. They use sex as a tool to mediate relationships and keep things peaceful. This cooperation gives them a lot of control within their groups. On the flip side, males are generally more tolerant and less aggressive compared to other species. They're less likely to fight over mates, which makes for a more harmonious group dynamic. It's a stark contrast to many other primate societies where males are often more aggressive and competitive. So, what can we learn from bonobos? Well, their unique use of sexual behaviour highlights the importance of social bonds and cooperation. It's a reminder that relationships and social harmony can play a crucial role in the well-being of a community, even beyond our human world. In conclusion, bonobos show us that sex can be more than just a means to an end. It can be a powerful tool for social interaction, conflict resolution and community building. So next time you think about animal behaviour, remember the bonobos and their fascinating approach to life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of bonobos, don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing insights into the animal kingdom. See you next time.